Hi everyone, have a great day. I'm going to show you today what an acrylic paint is. This is where I do all my painting. This is my painting table. And these are some samples of the paintings that I do. This one is yet to be finished. This one is for last Christmas. And that's portrait. Let me show you some more of the paintings that I have made. An exercise in bamboo, the one that hangs in my bedroom. Exercises on how to paint koi and lotus and water. These are native landscapes. I love depicting life in the farm and by the water. Another sample of my work, I still have to finish uh, the lady. <laughs> this one is an abstract work. Another one, exercise. I'd like to mention that my father was also an artist and a photographer. And this is my father's work, the landing of Magellan and the lady selling some vegetables. And this is also my father's work. They're all in oil. And I first started getting into art when I studied at uh, the Vargas Museum in UP under Fernanda Sena. And then I am continuing it now with Eshishak Art Cafe via Zoom. These acrylic paint in tubs like this, they are not as thick and um, they become a little bit translucent when painted. This one may be a little thicker but not really as thick as this kind. Let me show you a demonstration on how the paints work on the canvas. This is a white paint. It's a little thicker than usual. It's almost uh, halfway through, see? As you can see. A bit thick. And, but this yellow it's of the same brand, came out to be easier to let out. It's more liquid, but they're supposedly the same kind. So maybe this one has already dried out a little bit. And I'll show you one from this one so you will know the difference. This one came out a little bit. Let me try this other one. So it's not as liquid. This is uh, Tebeo. And this one is Liquitex. We will demonstrate on how each one rubs on the canvas. Acrylic paint is a fast drying paint made of pigment suspended in acrylic polymer emulsion and plasticizers, silicon oils, deformers, stabilizers, or metal soaps. This big tub here. The white one came from this one here. This one, as you will know, is thicker. Acrylic paints are water soluble but become water resistant when dry. There are two kinds of acrylic paints in the market, one for students and another for professional artists. 
not very visible, but it is also very easily applied. Artists, quality paints, or professional ones come in a wider range of colors. They have a high concentration of pigment and has a high permanence rating. We cover the canvas very well. So you need to redo this or otherwise if you want that kind of effect then that's what you use. Let's try this one. It's a cabello. There are cheaper acrylic paints made for students, but their pigments levels may be low and the color may not be as vibrant. As you can see, this covers the canvas better. To make them more opaque, what you need to do is to just redo the spaces after. See? Then you get a better color. The difference between the two grades isn't just how they are made. Often it's noticeable that artists' colors are more vibrant and have a smoother consistency that makes them easier to blend and layer. A beginner may opt to start actually studying painting using the student grade acrylic paints. But as your paintings get noticed, begin to use the professional grade because they give more vibrancy and smoother consistency. Do this if you start selling your paintings too, so they last better. Actually, acrylic paints have a higher permanence or light fastness rating than oils or watercolors. The viscosity, consistency, or thickness of acrylic depends on the kind of acrylic paint you choose. There are paints that have a thick buttery consistency, just like oil paints that showcase brush strokes. There are more fluid acrylic paints that are thinner and are good for staining, for dry brush strokes, and they look like watercolor when painted. It is best to use one brand, and if you do have two different brands, then try to learn how to use one over the other first. Sometimes they are not compatible having different binders for their pigments and will tend to curdle or not be adhesive to the canvas. I remember when I was in high school, I would be able to make watercolor paintings and sell them. Went back to painting in 2013 with Mr. Senna and he taught me how to draw, how to use the colors in the color wheel and a lot of different techniques for pencil, for charcoal, for watercolor, for pastel, and especially oil. I actually prefer acrylic over oil because I think it's healthier because it's non-toxic. And these are the colors that we will use. These are all primary colors, so we learn how to mix colors. We will learn more about acrylic paints as we do the uh, demonstration on the acrylic painting.